So yes, I want to I want to thank you for coming to my birthday celebration. It's a very nice day to make it on this weekend. I, I'm glad all of you were able to make it. And, uh, I Just leave ask, the presents on the table. Money is fine if you didn't have yeah. it. Yeah, takes Venmo. And uh, I couldn't ask for a better better birthday present uh, to have. And someone said something about uh, David finding his match. Personally, I think he married up. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we all know that. <laughs> I didn't have to say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's fine. But uh, I also want to say something about uh, my grandson, Ethan, that, that was very great. A great roast. And he's had experience from roasting me as well as roasting his dad. There was one time we went with, uh, with Andrew to uh, a football game, a practice scrimmage. And on the way home, it was me, Andrew, and uh, David's friend, Nish, and Ethan had us on the floor laughing the whole time. <laughs> Great job. I uh, you know, One thing I'd say about doc David becoming a doctor is, you know, when I was growing up, I had true Jewish immigrants where they wanted me to be either a doctor or a lawyer. And I, I just didn't want to do it. Called to my father's business. I didn't want to do it. I, I just wanted to do it you know, travel and, and, and live in uh, a tent. And so, you know, when David was like, you know, I want to be a doctor, I was like, really? You want to work that hard? You want, the, you want all that responsibility? I, I wanted him to be a comedian or, or a musician. I thought he'd be a comedian. <laughs> he, he definitely had the right, the right attitude for that. So, hey, it's great that he became a doctor, but I, I don't know, what do you think of David? Is it, is it responsibility? Is it I wouldn't have heard. Oh. <laughs> That's a good answer. So basically, we really knew that David, out of all the kids, had a lot of compassion and would probably be, you know, be something like a doctor or along those lines. So, you know, the compassion just oozed from him. So we always remember this is, you know, we all remember this incident because it was really indicative of how David was as a person. So when the kids were little, like, I don't know if a lot of you know, David and Andrew are only 20 months apart, and Stephanie is two years younger. So basically, Andrew was pretty young, you know, when I had Steph, I mean, everybody was young. And I think David was about three, and Andrew was about four, or maybe, I think Stephanie was actually younger, she was in the car seat. And I was taking them out to the, at the house, and. The car, you know, we have a little bit of a, a, a the driveway's a little bit on a slant, and the, the car door, when I was trying to take Stephanie out of her car seat, slammed on my finger. And literally, I was like down on the floor. I mean, it really, really, really hurt, you know? So Andrew, of course, was like, much of your prescription, right? Yeah. yeah, Andrew was like, Mom, Mom, you know, are you, are you, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, Stephanie, rather, no, no. Oh, yeah. versus Steph. Steph was crying. She didn't know anything. She saw me crying, so she was crying. You know, makes sense, right? And and Andrew, little Andrew, then Andrew was like, "Mom, are you okay? Should I do anything? Are you okay? Are you okay?" And because David is the compassionate one of the group, he was like, "Mom, what's going on?" And this is absolutely true. <laughs> Showing signs of compassion from a very early age. So you can see why he became a doctor. It was clear. It was really clear. And now, of course, this is, all the kids always say this, and this is Andrew. Too. Wait, before you, before you go on with this, you know, I've always told Stephanie that you're my favorite. And what, what she would say is, I'm your only daughter, so shut up, stupid. <laughs> my favorite daughter, sorry. So she would say that. I'm your only daughter, so shut up, stupid. And Nicole, I say now, is, is my favorite daughter in law. But now I think she's moving into second place. <laughs> no, I, it's a tough. It's a tough. <laughs> well, we have to get with Nicole. Of you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh, we love you, Nicole. <laughs> Like, come on, mom. We know that David's your favorite. All the time, I hear that, and I just wanted you to take a look at our house. Is there any reason that Andrew should say that? <laughs> I mean, come on. I have a picture of 
I have a picture of Wilson up there. Okay. Yeah, but the other thing to, too is that what, what Fran is saying is that actually the dogs are our favorite. We have we don't have a picture of that, but we have a, a, a portrait of the two dogs above our mantle. I mean, you know, the kids' pictures are somewhere hidden. <laughs> So, okay. Okay. so basically, um, David really loved going to Hebrew school. I mean, there was probably nothing better than he liked than going to Hebrew school. The trouble was that um, basically he spent more time in the principal's office <laughs> than he did in class. That's how much he liked Hebrew school. So, okay. So that was... Well, my sister Goldie, that's her, that's her in the wheelchair. She, you know, she had some issues. And when it came time to going up to the beamer to say the prayer before the Torah, I had to help her out and wheel her up. And so, you know, just before, just before she gets up on the beamer, she's using the wheelchair all the whole weekend. All weekend, she starts to rise. <laughs> she starts to walk on the beam, and all of a sudden, I hear out of the back, out of the balcony. It's a miracle! <laughs> but he really did find religion. Yeah, and you know, it was kind of a, not a solemn occasion, but you know, it's religious occasion. But there was David, very shy, very shy. <laughs> so, you, you, you know, when we have uh, Fran's father, who, who couldn't be here, he's 96 years old, he's unbelievable. He takes care of his own stock, he's really smart, he's bright. He has a lot of wisdom, and David, you know, he's talking about getting married and, you know, wants some sage advice and, you know, important life decisions. And so, so what he came up with, you know, Joe, Joe thought hard about it. What he came up with is, well, if you have a pair of tens, always split them and, and, uh, and double down. That was Joe's. That was Joe's. Um, so David always had heroes growing up. Only oh, there's always somebody. He started with Dell Strawberry, and then it went to Reggie Miller, and then Larry David, who was still was one of his heroes. Yeah. Right? And I guess, yeah, if you know David, you have to like Larry David. Right? Okay. And. So, once, once he graduated, yes, once we graduated med school, once he graduated med school, Uncle Leslie was a hero. And then, once he got to be a, a resident, now. You know, in, in spite, I always thought my, that I was the hero for him, but he was able to, we say that he was able to become this doctor in spite of us. And now we always say, we never knew the real story exactly because we, you know, I don't know if it was Hannah was interested in David first or David Hannah, but apparently this is how David came to work. <laughs> so that is why um, Hannah, you know, like, knew it instantly that, you know, that that was the right person. Now, <laughs> we've all heard about uh, David's a true, true collection of, of stickers, and when he when they did buy a house, this was the requirement that David had to have enough room to the closet. And yeah, as you can see, he had his clothes and taken the second, <laughs> second seat to what he has. And he probably is putting stickers into Hannah's closet as well. <laughs> Then recently, you know, there was a tornado, and all my friends, like my brother, my friend Susan, my friend Amy, my father, everybody's calling up, like, there's a tornado in New Orleans. You know, you know are David and Hannah okay? There's emergency alert, and we call David. You know, David, there's a tornado in New Orleans. Uh, is it you know, <laughs> Oh, a tornado, uh, uh, yes, we're okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, Hannah's in the emergency room to take care of all the So she knew, she knew she it was knew. a tornado. We have a picture of that, uh, you know, what, what could have been when they met, if they met each other. <laughs> it's the first kiss. We, we found out that this is really the first kiss. 
And then on, on a little bit of a serious note, we have a picture of the combined families. And we're just so happy to have the Maisons joining and us joining them. Yeah, we couldn't, we, couldn't we couldn't love Ellen and Peter anymore. Because yeah. they're like best. I feel like, you know, we could be all great friends. We just really love them and we love Hannah. So it's just, so it's, we're, we're very thrilled about, about everything. We're really proud of them. And, and we're also so happy that we have four new grandchildren. Stella. <laughs> <laughs> All the rest, Charlie, and Lincoln, and, and Allie. And, 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 and we do have, just, uh, just uh, 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 no, and, I, and, and, and the girls don't know they came out for uh, brunch today, but um, Julie was very kind because I didn't realize that the, um, Hannah David hadn't officially um, adopted Slinky. And he was living in the house, so Julie made sure that um, he wasn't the Ill illegitimate child. And so last night she filled out the application for Hannah to make sure that he was officially adopted. So we can, you know, so. We thank Julie for that. <laughs> <laughs> we, do, uh, we do want to also uh, push our published book. <laughs> we self-published this book about David uh, and, Hannah. and Hannah and how they got together and how Charlie really helped the occasion. So it's at your table. We're trying to sell it. We make <laughs> ten, ten, cents. ten cents a copy for everybody. And I want to go on vacation after COVID, so help me out. <laughs> But anyway, we love you guys. We're so we, we really you appreciate you all coming here and celebrating with us. I mean, it's only happy and good things for everybody. So thank you for being such a great friend.